I met Brother Steve 1977 when I went to New York. I was 21 years old. That is why I say he's my second father. I never, I never had a chance to see my father. We used to spend a lot of times together. I have never seen a humble man who's achieved so much like Dr. Mukoni, who's very, very humble. On my first week at training at New York, I used to train at New York in the morning, uh, go and visit him at his house. His son was still very young, uh, Ronnie. I used to spend most of my time with him. I'm standing here with two mixed feelings. The first one is to celebrate his life. The first one is to say, thank you, Brother Steve. You made me a strong person. You made me a, a good player. Maybe by spending so much time with him, I also learned to be outspoken. Whatever comes on my head, I just say it. Exactly the same as him. Maybe I made, I know I made a lot of people uncomfortable in the country by saying what I think is right, but so tough luck. That's how I felt. And I learned it from him, so don't blame me, blame that guy. He's the one. <laughs> you know, whoever offended on my way up, it wasn't me, it was Brother Steve. But one thing about him which I learned while I was in New York, he preached education, education education. He was very, very attached and very, very close to education.